Next tonight, an OBE for Beverly DeGale. Honoured today for her tireless efforts to increase the number of people from ethnic minorities who donate blood and bone marrow. A sad inspiration for her work, her son Daniel, who died three years ago. He was just 21. And he's been in Beverly's thoughts all day, as Ronke Phillips reports. Just look forward, please. That's it. She's met celebrities, sports stars, and even been in the company of leading politicians. But today, Beverly DeGale was preparing to meet royalty, and it meant a very early start. How do you feel, Beverly? How do I feel? Yeah. I feel like that. Right. The nerves were being kept under control, and when Beverly and the rest of the family, mum in law Verona, sister Angela, daughter Dominique, and partner Orin emerged, for her, there was a stunning dress, but no hat. Just finding the outfit was a struggle because I wanted something very special, unique, and to try and top it with a hat to suit was nigh on impossible, so I decided to go without. For Beverly, today was not about the outfit, but the memory of her son Daniel, who inspired her to found the African Caribbean Leukemia Trust. He desperately needed a bone marrow donor, but there were only 500 black and Asian people on the register at the time. Thanks to her tireless work, that has now increased to 35,000. Daniel did eventually find a donor and lived for another 10 years. Now the rush is on to find a match for three-year-old Navaya Green. She knows what she's got. She can tell you I've got leukemia, but she thinks it's like the average cold. She doesn't realise how serious it is. With the help of Beverly and the ACL team, Navaya will hopefully find a match. And even today, as she stood in front of Princess Anne and accepted her OBE, it was the people who needed donors who were uppermost in Beverly de Gale's mind. Take it out of the box and show it to us. Thank you. It is beautiful. My pride and joy. And you got it from Princess Anne? Right? From Princess Anne, yes. And it was wonderful. What, what did she say to you? Um, well, she asked me a bit about the charity and the... Uh, donations and um, why, it's why we do the work that we do and, um, and she understood the importance of it and that the work needs to continue. Recognition for the woman who lost her own son but continues to work to give the gift of life to others. It's really, it's, it's amazing. I'm, I'm so honoured. I feel so blessed and um, I, I love my family. I love them dearly and they're all here with me, Dominique, and I feel Daniel's presence so it's a good day. It's a really good day. Ronke Phillips, London tonight, Windsor. Extraordinary woman.